Good morning, friends. Oh gosh, I was gonna say the date and I don't, it's like Saturday, September 19th maybe? It was yesterday the 18th? Anyway, it's about the third weekend in, in September. Uh, I've got a jacket on, it's cool this morning. I'm gonna chalk a monster. Um, it's, I don't know how old. I did a series of monsters, maybe six monsters. Gosh, I think my daughter might have been in, might have been in middle school. Uh, they were done in colored pencil. They're still in my online gallery because I sell a few of them. Uh, mostly t-shirts and wall decor for kids' rooms. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, I want to thank you up front. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Because some people don't watch to the end of the video. And then they miss the really cute end slate with me driving in my VW Bug. Um, so I just want to, oh, you can tell I'm not awake yet this morning. I just want to thank you all for um, supporting my artist life. And let's get started. Hey, before I show you where I'm starting, I wanted to get a shot behind me. That smoke from all the fires we've had in 2020 out west, um, it's up. I can't smell the smoke, so it must be up pretty high. Um, and it's not that bad. Just uh, sort of an interesting, it almost looks like clouds, but it's just the smoke. All right, I'm gonna flip the phone around here. Alrighty, I keep drawing a bit bigger these days. This is Flower Monster. Um, let me I'll step back and then tilt the camera down a little bit so I can see it. Of course, at this angle, it makes the shoes look quite big. I've got it mapped out. Um, I'm not sure what I want to say. Oh, I know what I want to say. So, if you look at the arms, you look at the eye, the teeth, it's all... The head's an oval, then I zigzag the oval. It's all just simple shapes. So if you wanted to draw or you're, I've had some young people that come by now on Saturday mornings to see what I've drawn on the driveway. Um, you just, simple little shapes that you just can make a little bit more complicated for the fur. And it makes it easier to draw. So I start with the big head oval and then we're, and then, oh, I also decide kind of where the feet are gonna go. So I have a little bit of room on the cement to letter I think it's gonna say monster hugs. <laughs> oh, and then I broke out a new box of Chuck. So here's Flower Monster. I printed it out from my online store. So the legs are longer here. I tend to make them um, wider and fatter when I draw them on the driveway. And then I took the black out, but there's my new box of Chuck. And I think I'm gonna make it a blue monster because I just did a green ice cream cone right below where the monster is. You can kind of see the cherry up near the top of the hair. Um, and then I did quite a bit of pink and green. I did sparkle, you can still see her quite a bit. I uh, used the hose, it didn't rain this week, so I used the hose to wash her down. And then I think I'm gonna start doing pumpkins and uh, Halloween stuff. Okay, get to chalking. So I'm thinking bright green for the eyes, yellow teeth, you know, I, as I was um, coloring it in, I was thinking it'd be fun to be able to do this live. I mean, technically I can, but it'd be over, gosh, a two and a half hour video. I definitely have to hire some help so they could video while I color. And then I don't know if people would want to hang out that long and watch. I would just, that might be kind of mind numbing because <laughs> the progress is so slow. Anyway, I thought I'd show you the direction I'm going in. Oh, and then I put a little black around the eye. I think I might end up putting some more to make it pop out. So I'm taking a minute to stop because I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> and I mean, I suppose I could wash it off and chalk tomorrow, but um, I don't really want to do that. Plus it takes a few days for it to fade and stuff. So I'm looking through my phone camera here to, I think it's better when I get back from it. Might need a little darkening. I think maybe I should smear the eye and start seeing how it looks. Wish I could hear you right now. <laughs> okay guys, I think it'll be cute. I just need to keep going. Like with most art projects, um, kind of leave the art critic behind for a little while to get towards the end. There we go. I think I just need to smear it because I'm liking the eye way better. Yeah, 
I think this is gonna be cute now. Sometimes I just get, I don't know, if you're an artist or you make things, you sometimes just get a little cranky or you're just not sure. That happens to me quite a bit. But I, you learn to keep going, keep working it. You can fix so many things. That's the great thing that art teaches teaches you. Oh, that's an interesting sentence, maybe. Um, you can adjust, fix. Oh, I think Bob Ross used to say happy accidents. There's a lot of truth to that. Okay, guys, I'm going to go smear some more and we'll see how it looks. So I don't know if we'll catch it on video, but it's quite breezy this morning. And as I'm smearing, I can see the chalk dust blowing away. <laughs> you know, the things you don't think about until you start doing chalk out outside. Oh, and then you can see my hand there a little bit. There you can see what happens to my rag. It just rubs right off on the concrete and makes holes. Anyway, I thought I'd pop in. Every time I do uh, a piece of art or even a painting, you that's why you want to paint a lot. Like if you're an athlete, you practice and play a lot of games because you learn something all the time. You don't always realize it, but you do. Oh, well, the monster, monster's starting, uh, flower monster's starting to look pretty good here. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a shot here for favorite daughter because the sun... Um, Last week I chalked so late I didn't even notice, uh, late in the afternoon, but the sun is moving to the south. So it comes up over my neighbor's house earlier. Plus they trimmed their tree, uh, which, you know, they have every right to trim their tree, but I don't get as much shade. <laughs> Actually, that could be kind of cute with the one eye. Um, of course, she'll, she knows what she likes. She, she knows what she wants to do. But anyway, I get a couple shots, even though we're not quite done before I start fighting the sun. I want you to take a look. There's a little bit of a shadow, but not too bad this morning. See if I'm moving to kind of see my leg. It's getting cute. Maybe if I walk over it a little bit, then the feet don't look so big. All right, I just wanted to pop in. Here, maybe, maybe if I go over here. Uh, you can tell I'm starting to like it. I'm laughing. So I'm taking a quick peek uh, through my phone, videoing it, seeing how it looks, because it helps me uh, step back. It's a much uh, further away view than when I'm on top of it chalking. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope it does. It's kind of like, um, I don't know what I was going to say. Sometimes artists will use a mirror, you know, and look at a mirror. Uh, with their art so they can see it or look at it upside down. I think that turned out pretty cute. I like the shoestrings. Oh, my shadow. I just scribbled with a little bit of black. I'm trying to decide if I want to define anything more. I think it looks pretty good. I think I just need to write. Oh, there's my shadow. Oh, I think the other angle is better. I think I just need to write monster hug and we're done enough contrast. Okay guys, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm done. We're gonna walk around it a little bit. So this is, I'm on my, almost on my, well I'm on my sidewalk almost at the edge of the drive. So that's a very colorful greeting for people walking by. Oh here, we'll show you again just for reference. So there, uh, Flower Monster has a much bigger head and littler feet. I made bigger feet, so it's more stable. <laughs> and it says monster hugs. Actually, the sun to the south isn't so bad. I may start a little later because it's starting to get chilly in the mornings. Oh, there's my shadow though. So I'm lifting it up. Maybe that might be a shot for favorite daughter. You know, I wonder if that annoys her. Hi, Emily. Uh, I just like calling my favorite daughter and favorite son. And then I signed it. So uh, I don't know if I can get a look from this angle. I get my shadow in there. Oh, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Um, this wouldn't be any fun without all of you guys. Here, I'm gonna walk around it this way because my shadow's bugging me. Um, I love that you watch, spend your time with me, uh, comment. I love connecting with you guys and sharing. Oh, I guess I'm saying goodbye, but I don't wanna say goodbye yet. I wanna. I want to flip the camera around so you can see me. Okay, 
Here's a look. All right, I'm gonna pick up and then I'll say goodbye. Hey, I feel like I need longer arms or I should get some sort of contraption to hold my phone out farther. <laughs> I hold my arm as far out as I can. I just realized I forgot to put ears on the monster. I got so focused on the shape of the head. It turned out cute, but I think that's so funny. You get, you can get tunnel vision um, when you're doing stuff. You know, you, you forget. That's why I like to draw a roadmap of where I'm going, but I forgot the ears in the roadmap. Um, anyway, as I was saying before, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending your time with me. It means a lot. And it's been great for me during the pandemic. It's it's not as good as seeing people in person, but it's I love connecting with you on social media. It's helped me so much. I hope this helps you a little bit. I hope it brightens your day. Art hugs. Uh, there'll be a few more chalk videos as long as I can wash my driveway off. And I'll uh, chat with you guys soon. Bye.